Buck Creek Foundation is building a community in Loris for people with special needs where they can work, live, learn vocational skills, and so much more. Really cool. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning at their Giving Hope Gardens with a look. He did one with the smile. I know you did it's the smiley face. It's really a neat place where, you know, people can come and learn and grow as people as well as growing, you know, produce and herbs. And you guys have this really cool herb and flower wall mm -hmm. over here. Yeah, what we wanted to do with that is, is to kind of beautify the area but also serve a dual purpose. Uh, we want to extend our uh, culinary herb wall so we'll actually have herbs that we can provide some restaurants. We also uh, have containers where people can purchase them and carry them home with them. Yeah. And uh, it gives them something that they can do to replace. Some of them. And they, they're pretty too. They painted, painted some of them. Planted. And so they've had a, a lot of hands on with this and they really enjoyed it from hanging the hangers to painting the pots to planting the flowers oh, and that sort of thing. It's so, really nice. I mean, it looks beautiful. I kind of want to put something like this in my backyard. Well, it's not that hard. We um, we have some hangers available. We have pots available. And so actually uh, people can come by and pick them out carry them home and it gives them something to replace them. It's so cool and you guys do the hard work of growing it right from the right from the beginning so right. people can just take it. Did you find one that you painted? Yeah, sure. Where? Which one did you paint? The show it off, paint. show it off. Oh my gosh, I love it. This one right over here? Yeah. With the smiley face. Aww. That is fantastic. Sending home a little bit of love. And herbs with people. Smiley face. It just makes you smile. This whole thing does. Guys. And that really looks gorgeous out there. It, they have put some yeah. real work into this nursery. It's uh -huh. I think it was uh, Clarity's or Clardy's nursery years mm -hmm. ago, so they're transforming it. That's awesome. And if uh, you want to learn more at, uh, about Buck Creek Foundation, you can do so at buckcreekfoundation.org. All right, so some adults with special needs in our area are getting a chance to work and learn lifelong skills. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live this morning at Giving Hope Gardens in Loris with more on Buck Creek Foundation. That's right. If you actually are giving back to the community and helping grow people along with this whole mission that you have here between the farm and the gardens, um, you're helping people, you know, with special needs, have a place, have a job, uh, maybe in the future, a place to live too. You're hoping to expand <laughs> with the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so how can people who are watching, how can they help? Um, well, the, uh, they can go to our website, which is uh, buckcreekfoundation.org. Um, and any support that a person can give can help us to attain that dream because we're trying to get our facilities operational. Um, and uh, they can subscribe to our newsletter and they can stay in contact. Um, we want to have our business here open during the week so that they can come by and support us here as yeah, well. Yeah, that'd be so cool. I mean, just look at all the produce you have out here. I mean, you've got the farm is booming and you bring it out and people help separate it and then you can sell it. And also, you need help, you know, you said getting the whole area ready, so maybe people in construction or, you know, who can come out and help build. Right. We've had some uh, great community support. We've had some work days, and we've had some people to come out and help clean. Um, but, yes, there's an endeavor like this, there's always things that can be done. And so anything that a person can do to help engage our special needs community and help them to interact and grow and provide a, a place for them, not just now, but in the future as well. Right. Well, it's a wonderful cause and it'll make you feel good if you help out. Guys? What a fantastic way to help out people and mm -hmm. gaining skills they're going to use forever. Yeah, really cool. Got to check that out sometime. Absolutely. Some produce. You can learn much more about that location and what they do at buckcreekfoundation.org. Buck Creek Foundation is building a community in Loris for people with special needs where they can work, live, learn vocational skills, and so much more. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning at their Giving Hope Gardens with a look. That's right, and yeah, you just brought over some stuff this morning. Talk about what you brought. Uh, I got some okra, okra and some right now. Yeah, okra, yeah. tomatoes. That's coming up in a minute. <laughs> squash, it is. Squash, um, mm -hmm. just a, you know, a bunch of stuff like that. Some eggplants. I told you, cows. And talk about the farm. I mean, you guys grow a lot of stuff over there. Yeah, the farm's got a, a deep history. Um, it's a century-old farm. Uh, 1872 is when my wife's family's uh, ancestors had the farm. Uh, we still got it now, and uh, they're. Both her uh, grandparents were both deaf-mute, so they went to the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind. 
uh, and they were encouraged to go around door to door and try to sell the produce that they grew. Uh, so me being a special ed teacher, my wife having that um, background with her grandparents having special needs and agriculture, just kind of mixing it all together and keeping it going. A really neat concept that you guys are doing. I mean, describe how this helps people. Uh, well, just, you know, being a teacher, I wanted to see uh, kids, when they left me, have options, just like any other kids would, military or, tra or you know, transition into uh, vocational, whatever they were going to do the workforce. I just wanted to offer something for kids when they got out of high school uh, that had special needs where they could go and, you know, grow as individuals, um, become something, have uh, something that they cared about and a reason to get up every day. And as a parent, I just believe if my child was safe and their life had meaning, that would just... Uh, it would be what I would want for these kids. Absolutely. I mean, you guys are doing amazing things. And what are you guys doing over here? Look at all this stuff. Wow. The okra is right now. The okra, yeah. That's a lot of okra, isn't it? And then this has got some eggplant right here. And so you grow grow this stuff at the farm, bring it here, separate it out. Sure. People can come out and, you know pick some up and come help out so it's two you know two campuses you got the farm over there so we're teaching that way how they would have grown long ago and and then bringing it over here to a business where they can get that kind of experience as well right um, on both sides of it very nice and stuff is huge show one off to the camera what, what do you got Let's, look at this look at this very nice guys oh, wow That's awesome stuff out there and uh, you can learn more at buckcreekfoundation.org some adults with special needs in our area are getting a chance to work and learn lifelong skills. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is live this morning at Giving Hope Gardens in Loris with more on Buck Creek Foundation. That's right, really a neat place. Talk about the Giving Hope Garden and what you guys do. We are located right here on the former Clarity Nursery property. Uh, this is a place here that was started back in the 50s and for many years was a staple in our community. At one time they employed 22 people and provided plant material all over the county. And what we are doing is bringing it back to life, so to speak, but for a different purpose, and that's to help give our special needs community a place to work, learn transitional skills, and have a place that their life can have more meaning and purpose. Really a neat concept and idea. I mean, you've literally provided a whole place for you know, people to work. And it looks like you guys are working hard. I mean, you've got a lot of we, stuff. We've had a pretty busy summer. Um, we actually have grown some produce on our farm located in Longs, which is about 10 minutes from here. And uh, we're refurbishing this property to be our retail center, a uh, place for them to come and have education and interaction with the community and that sort of thing. Right, and you've already, you have camp going on too. <clears throat> we're going a third week of camp here in which we've got some participants coming in. And we, they've helped us to harvest some produce. They've helped us to plant some plants and then do some things to give them a skill set. And they've enjoyed it. And it's been fun to watch them grow and become uh, a little bit more able to work independently and uh, to see the excitement and the joy that they have by doing that. Right, well it's got to be very fulfilling uh, to be able to help out and there's ways that people who are watching can help out and we'll talk about that coming up. Sounds fantastic and you can learn much more about what they're doing at buckcreekfoundation.org.